Hello, I am Moderator, joined by my good colleague, BTT, for what will be a very, very explosive uh, best out of three, at least this first match. Hydra going triple Abad and triple Oracle, Pontifex, Muller, double Inquisitor. Walk me through Vidra here. Vidra have gone something that we haven't seen yet this tournament. They've gone with a Balgorn, triple navy Brudix, double navy Ogre, double Deacon Confessor Mola. Trying to irk back to last year where Octodad was quite popular with all of these uh, battlecruiser comps. So maybe those medium turrets can do really, really well here. Yeah, you say Octodad, but I think that Hydra is going to make uh, Vidra call them daddy. We already see that uh, Mika Nox is saying oops when they landed in local. Um, uh, Oracles are just going to absolutely scorch through, uh, pun intended, these Brutix Navy issues that are not whole tanked. Uh, these Deacons are going to be totally irrelevant. Hydra is just going to blast through this core of Brutix Navy issues and then just destroy the Balgorn. Um, man, Hydra just perfectly counter -comped. Uh, Vidra, and this is just going to be an absolute blowout. We can see that we're all of 30 seconds in. Vidra losing two battle cruisers in as much time. Um, Oracles are being tackled and they're being muted by the Balgorn, but he won't be able to shut them off in time. It isn't enough. Uh, Mickey Knox getting some reps, but it doesn't matter. Already down into hull and popping now. Yeah, an important thing for Hydra here is this comp is only really uses two or three ship types. Uh, with the Abaddon and the Oracle for the Conquest bands, they haven't really lost that much because nothing except for this comp uses them. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, something that might have hurt them potentially in that best out of three where they did end up go going down to uh, Volta here. Um, speaking of things going down, the Balgorn already down in just to a sliver 20 10% of armor, uh, desperately trying to rep, and even if you have a reactive har hardener, it will not cycle fast enough with three Abaddon sitting on top of you, um, pumping damage into you, and once that Balgorn goes down, we can see the attack bar of Vydra go down to basically nothing. Look at the attack bar of Hydra. They've lost three oracles that are each a battleship worth of damage, and it's nearly to the full screen. Mauler's getting instantly deleted the second they get any webs and grapples on top of them. Um, Hydra choosing a very, very all-in composition, and it's paying off in spades for them. I mean, look at the bands that we had. Bargast, Slepnir, Nightmare, Bargast, and Golem. All things that are good against Hydra's comp. Yeah, right. I just don't think they really wanted to go against anything that was particularly kitey here. Both the Basilisk and the Scimitar have been banned, so they didn't want to go against those long-range kind of like shield missile kites, which we've seen this triple Abaddon, uh, triple Oracle struggle against because they can't get exactly on top of things. Yeah, I mean, one of the things that you know you often expect from these Hydra Vider um, teams is that you expect like this very execution, very, you know, kind of micro intensive, you know, team based um, setups that require very high individual level of skills, which isn't to say that this doesn't, but they just decided I'm going to go Hulk smash. I'm just going to bring all of the lasers. I'm going to punch you in the face and I'm going to end it in all of three minutes as these beacons are grappled and webbed, um, giving. I think more time for um, the production team to get back on track and on schedule. So thank you, Hydra, for you know winning so fast that you get us back on track. Yeah, I find it extremely amusing that the Abaddons are only just now starting to move again. Two of them have been sitting at zero, trying to maximize their tracking. But important thing to notice here is how hard it is for this ship, this composition to break those two deacons uh it really goes to show how good experienced pilots in deacons can be because caden or Nanda in this deacon is is just not going down yeah okay so i mean mickey Knox. even when they landed on grid um they were kind of saying oops you know gf they realized that this was lost uh casper saying rematch quick smiley face uh <laughs> Uh, they're kind of, you know, shit posting local. Dexter saying, dude, we can't track. We have battleships and nice Deacon hacks. Deacon's known for uh, very small signature radius, um, being very hard to hit. And the Deacons are kind of, uh, even without links, you know, to reduce those signature, give them better resist. Um, they're having difficulty 
uh, you know, in these battleships hitting them. Not that it matters. Uh, they're just, you know, burn time, um, you know, give, in, give themselves a little bit more uh, time here to think about what their next bands could be for the match. And as you had alluded to, um, not a whole lot brought for Vydra or Hydra here, you know, with the win that will, uh, you know, force them to not be able to bring something with the Conquest rule set here. Yeah, they even brought Inquisitors, and Inquisitors is not something you see a lot. Usually people go for these Deacons, so Deacons are still available as Logifrigs in a later match. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of an ideal position to place yourself in. I mean, you still have, you know, you have uh, options this next match. Um, Carnival choosing to try to run away, uh, just being target painted um, right now. Um, by these Abaddons. Uh, not every day that you see a target painting Abaddon, but, uh, you know, given the setup, it makes a lot of sense. Um, yeah, just Hulk smashing their way into a clean 1-0 lead in this best out of three. Yeah, we're seeing the they can finally uh, start to go down now. I really like the position of these Abaddons. They've got two of them a little bit further and one of them a little bit further back. So that when, if anything tries to get on top of two of them, like the Deacon is now, the other Abaddon still has that little bit of extra range and can still track a little bit better. As this last Deacon goes down, though, we'll pass it back to the studio and have them break it down a little bit further. <laughs> 